Hey Leo, it's Goddess Puff, and this is your next 48 hours for June 7th to the 8th of 2023. I was hearing um, Flashing Lights by Kanye West. I was hearing specifically the chorus when he's like, as I recall, you know I love to show off, but you never thought I would take it this far. So I don't know <laughs> who's doing what, but I got that. All right. Sorry, I'm trying to do something new and the shuffling is getting me. So bear with me. Well, you could just be listening to that song, but I feel like that was a direct message in regards to your situation. One more shuffle <laughs> for Leo. I might have to start pre-shuffling these cards because these ones is... Okay. Let's see what you got going on. Amen. Focus on repairing relationships that have drifted apart through differences, finding common ground. So someone may think you're flashy because I'm seeing someone get out of a car with a fur coat and glasses on. And I feel like there was a, I think I did a Leo reading for you where um, you were patching things up with an earth sign, either a Virgo or Capricorn. Ipis, focus on long-term strategy and quick thinking when plans change. Maimon, beware of avarice, focus, and I don't know if I'm saying that right, avarice, focus on gaining needs and comforts, avoid not being able to appreciate what we have in the constant pursuit of more. So someone here was not appreciating what they had until it was gone. Someone wanted to flex. Overall energy is Mark Goes. I'm not even going to try. Beware of false hopes. Knowing something is impossible and striving for it anyway can take energy that could be used for attaining attainable goals. So I'm getting someone was going beyond their means. Not you though. I feel like Leo's, they talk the talk, but they can back it up. This person cannot. This person's full of crap. I feel like this person compared themselves to you, try to keep up with you, compete with you. I feel like this person bragged about how much money they had or make or the car, the clothes, whatever. All of it's fake or they're going broke to keep up this image. I feel like when it says focus on repairing relationships that have drifted apart, yeah, you're settling your differences with someone, but there's someone else here that's like, for some of you, someone feels like they can't be your friend because they don't have what you have. They feel less than being around you. I don't know. I feel like the difference here is between you and this person is a flashy lifestyle or money. And someone feels like less than or they feel like they got to keep up appearances to be around someone. And and you're like, just because I dress this way doesn't mean I, I'm shallow or that I look down on you or whatever. Let's get into the tarot and see what this is. For Leo. Seven of Swords, the Chariot, Cancer, the Magician, Gemini and Virgo, and the Knight of Pentacles. So it's to do with work in regards to it. It could be someone trying to manifest a car, an expensive car. But with the Seven of Swords, it's a plan or a strategy to move. They're manifesting this. Five of Cups, past disappointments. Oh, I just made the back of my throat itchy <coughs> for some reason. Someone doesn't want to tell you their plan. With the Seven of Swords, it's like someone's planning on getting an expensive car they can't afford or planning on moving or traveling. 
And it's like they're trying to move before they manifest a job. They're trying to move somewhere, then manifest a job or manifest something working out between you two. Knight of Pentacles is work, the magician. Someone could be doing spell work to manifest a move or a car, but they're not telling you this. With the Five of Cups, they regret this. They regret whatever they were trying to do. Clarify. The Five of Cups is the overall energy. I see a VHS tape and I heard make a movie or me and wifey made a movie. Why am I thinking of that song? I'm thinking of uh, 40, is it 40 hours by Kanye West? Oh, was it 30 hours? Yeah. Cause he's saying it's St. Chicago. Oh no, it's Chicago, St. Louis, St. Louis to Chicago. So someone's traveling back and forth. The star Aquarius. So, I mean, the Seven of Swords is Aquarius as well. The Devil, Capricorn. You cannot trust, trust this bitch as far as you can throw them. You cannot trust this bitch as far as you can throw them. With the Devil clarifying the Seven of Swords, I was trying to have the benefit of the doubt. Like, maybe this person's just, you know... This person, y'all drifted apart for a reason. Y'all drifted apart for a reason. This person is into, now take this as it resonates because it doesn't have to literally be this, but like dark magic. Like this person's into some dark shit. Clarifying the chariot is the seven of swords again. So it's something to do with a car. They got this expensive ass car, but they're not going to tell you how. And I feel like it's in a very nefarious way. Very nefarious. Seven of Wands. Don't let this bitch take your car. Don't go nowhere with this bitch. Take them keys. Seven of Wands. I feel like someone might try to strategize a pull up, like pulling up on you. Don't open the door. Tell that person to get the hell off your property. Because that's Seven of Swords with the Chariot. Seven of Wands. It may take, take your car in to be seen, especially if someone has used it recently. Especially a... Um, Cancer, Aquarius, or Capricorn. And then you have 777. Gemini was getting that for a while. 777 with the Seven of Swords twice and the Seven of Wands. Clarifying the Magician is the Four of Wands. So this could be in regards to a home or business. It's like someone's got this big ass, this nice ass house, nice ass car, but they're like, they don't, they're living far beyond their means and someone's going broke to do this. Ace of Pentacles. Someone's trying to manifest, I don't know why I want to say a, a morning star or star. They're trying, with the magician, I feel like you are able to manifest a new stable beginning, new job, new home, new, th you know, you, you are manifesting these things in your life. Like this person sees that you're always able to get nice things. A nice job, new job, or a nice car, nice place. And I feel like one of you is doing this through ethical means and another person is not. So you both have your own practices. Do you have, I keep getting the morning star. I don't know what the hell that means. But I feel like this is a, it's very dark. Clarifying the Knight of Pentacles is the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, it is not going to be equal give and take. Queen of Wands, there you are. You are very balanced, judgment. Yeah, you're awakening to this. You're awakening to this. This person sacrifices things that they should. You thought you both were on the same page. You are not. Yeah, avoid being able, yeah, not being able to appreciate what you have in the constant pursuit of more. And striving for it anyway. I feel like someone's like in debt. Like someone's running up credit cards. Don't get a credit card with this person. Okay, so with Seven of Swords, it can be strategy. Focus on long-term strategy and quick thinking when plans change. So a move could have changed. Something about taking someone's car, like someone could be like, okay, my car is not working. Can I take yours? With the seven of wands, it's telling you to say no or to have boundaries with someone taking your car. Because I feel like you guys could have planned to travel separately or to like one takes a U-Haul, one takes a car. But it's something about like someone's trying to get over on you with that devil and the seven of swords. This person can't help it. They're, they're a thief. 
or they're con artists. That's just who they are. That's just what they do. And I would advise you to have boundaries with this person and tell them no, like no. Because it's like someone's trying to steal your car or steal your, this with this chariot, the seven of swords and seven of wands. Don't let this person come over or to drive you anywhere or to use your vehicle. Because I feel like this person may use your vehicle to go do some fucked up stuff. And then your car is stuck in a situation. I feel like you're manifesting a new job, a new home, a new business venture and things for yourself. And carrying this type of energy with you is going to mess you up. You got an energy around you that's going to just bring bad luck to you. They don't have good intentions. Also, um, to strategize a move, have a backup plan for your travel because I feel like something could go awry. Just make sure you go get your car checked out first. Get a checkup on it before you travel a certain distance. Yeah, it says focus on repairing relationships that have drifted apart through to differences, finding common ground. With the star and the seven of swords healing with the Capricorn. I don't advise you patching things up with this person. I'm going to be real. I'm going to be so for real with you. Because, I mean, unless... I'm seeing the seven of swords clarified by the star with the devil in, in the wrong way. I feel like you could be healing from this seven of swords, this secrecy, this backstabbing, or this, the seven of swords lying, cheating, stealing, right? Someone may have hid something that was wrong with your car and they may have been trying to fix it on their own or pay it back or going broke to pay you back to pay off a credit card or a car or something. And I can understand that. Like they're they're going, they're trying to repay you. But I can't respect with the devil that's fear, addiction, enslavement, toxicity, clarifying seven source. Someone's addicted to doing this fucked up stuff. Someone could be addicted to stealing cars. Not to say that they'll steal yours, but they they you can't take this person around you. Just because they're not doing these things directly to you doesn't mean they're not gonna bring bad luck around you by doing these things, getting you caught up in their drama, their mess. All right, for Leo, I just, I can't ethically or morally tell you to patch things up with someone who's coming out as the seven of swords with the devil. I just can't. I mean, and maybe you got a family member who has a record and they just do these things. They're a good person outside of that, but like, you know, and you can love them from a distance. Castle, it's time for healing, not war. 30, yes, telling you not to go back and forth with this person. Mourning, the world awaits you. 40, maybe if this happened way in the past and this person has changed now, then yes. Because I feel like for some of you here with the Five of Cups, someone does truly regret their past, their history. And I feel like it has to do with a car. Or it could be a credit card. Universe, we're all just stardust. But then look at the overall energy. Evil queen, you deserve sugar, not salt, too. Put it where you go, where it goes for you. For some of you, this person did this when they were in their youth and they have shown clear signs of change. They're a totally different person now. For others of you, I wouldn't trust this bitch as far as you could throw them. All right, for Leo. Thank, you got great things coming for you. Especially if you have your own business, your career is taking off, things are going well for you. And this person ain't going to bring you nothing but bad luck, especially if they live in this life. Rabbit, waiting, adventure, making leaps. I feel like this person wants to ride your tail coat or go with you. Moon, surrender, mystery, looming change. Yeah, you're about to move, either in regards to a job or a new home or both. I, seeking answers, seeing clearly, paying attention. Overall energy is bored, danger, aggression, masculinity. You're dealing with like a hot boy or a hot girl and not in the way of like, this is the type of person who steals. This person likes to steal. And that's what I'm getting. This person is a thief. They like to steal things. They like to rob people and take things. All right. For Leo, these are the signs you could be dealing with or this person could have them highly aspected in their chart. And just because this person has not stolen from you does not mean... That they won't bring that energy around you. At a certain age, people got to grow up. Now, I got a lot of family members who in and out of jail, but I keep my distance. I love them, but uh-uh. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. All right, Taurus. Cancer. 
Aquarius and Virgo, the overall energy. There is one person that has your back here, but I feel like there's someone else you need to get the hell away from. All right, I'm going to leave it there. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.